So very good evening children, welcome back to Akshar Online Classes, IIT and NEET Foundation. Today we will discuss about the chemistry sixth class okay topic is water in our life water in our life so you know very well nature given to the so many things okay so air water air water coal petroleum okay so these are the things are called these are the things are called natural resources these are called natural resources natural resources these are the natural resources are now it is very plenty we can if you are consumed continuously these are the natural resources so it will use it to the continuously these are in the future generation not available okay so that's why we can conserve these are the natural resources these are the very precious we can save these are the natural resources now today our natural resources is the water we will discuss about the water water so water what is the symbol of water so water formula is the h2o symbol of that water is the h2o so water is the natural resources water is the natural resources okay if you see the water actually this water is present in the three states that is okay already physical property properties uh, things what are the things are around as we are studied materials and things okay water is present in the three states so solid form is the ice is the solid form and drinking water is the liquid form liquid form okay and water vapor water vapor is the gaseous form gaseous form so in the earth in the earth actually at that water present in that 3 by 4th of that 3 by 4th of the land is covered with the covered with the water covered with the water so in this 3 by 4th of that water is uh, land is covered with that uh, water in this uh, 3 by 4th uh, actually water is present in that uh, especially in that uh, wells rivers oceans okay so these are the availability of the water is present so in this 3 by 4th of that uh, water 97 percentage of the water is present in the oceans 97 percentage of the water is present in the ocean and 2 percentage of the water is present in the glacier form what it is glacier form or that is present in the ice form you can see in that globe okay this is known as the equator this is called north pole this is called south pole so in this region actually that water is present in that uh, okay especially that is the in the solid form that is known as the ice this water also not useful to us third point uh, only the fresh water is present fresh water fresh water is present in that only one percentage only one percentage where it is this fresh water is present this fresh water is present in the rivers 
river okay lakes lakes ponds okay ponds okay so especially wells wells springs okay this fresh water is present this fresh water only present so that means 97 percentage of the marine water 2 percentage is the ice form only 1 percentage is the okay so fresh water is present so that's why water is the very precious we can save the water we can conserve the water next so what are the uses of that uh, for example what is the uses to that uh, water in our body so already you know very well uses of the water uses of water uses of water so water also known as the water also known as the universal universal solvent universal solvent why it is called universal solvent because all the things are dissolved in that so that's why water is known as the universal solvent second point for example if you see the plants and animals the majority of the 75% of the 75% of the water is present in the present present in the plant body or animal body plant body or animal body so that means uh, entire the organism you can see that 75% of the water is uh, occupied to that organism okay next you can see that in the living organisms okay metabolic activities what it is metabolic activities metabolic activities means what you know very well digestion digestion okay respiration respiration okay circulation circulation okay next one excretion excretion so these are all known as the important of that life process so these are the life process required to the for example if you are eating the food if you are eating the food that food is the digested by the organism okay so that means uh, in the digestion that water is the required okay so for example excretion in the excretion you can see it uh, actually that waste material they can send it to that one place to the another place okay water is uh, helping to the organism that excretory product send to that excretory system so that means especially metabolic activities water is the very 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 important water is the very very important for example small example do you know photosynthesis mechanism yes photosynthesis mechanism photosynthesis mechanism for example okay 6 co2 plus 12 h2o gives rise sunlight sunlight and chlorophyll 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 c6 h2o o6 plus 6 h2o plus 6o2 so this is the equation for the photosynthesis photosynthesis equation that uh, actually water is very essential okay essential things is the uh, carbon dioxide and water sunlight and chlorophyll and product of that uh, photosynthesis glucose water in the form of water vapor 
oxygen so that means in the metabolic activities oxygen uh, water is the required next next you you can see that uh, respiration c6 h2o o6 plus 6o2 use right 6co2 plus 6h2o plus nn nn so this is the respiration respiration here that glucose molecule when it is oxidized they are released to the carbon dioxide and water so that means uh, here what is my point is metabolic activities oxygen is the uh, water is the required water is the required next fourth point uh, so especially for the human being body temperature controlled by the controlled by the water body temperature is controlled by the water if you are taking to the water okay so metabolic activities and uh, adjustment to the temperature adjustment 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 of the temperature okay temperature so water is the required water is the required next you can see that next okay so these are the so that means uh, here okay so water is our life symbol of the water is the h2o two molecules of the hydrogen okay two molecules of the hydrogen and uh, one molecule of oxygen is present in that water okay so water is the natural resources water is the natural resources so water is present especially available in the three states that is ice water water vapor so ice is the solid form and water is the liquid form water vapor is the gaseous form so these are the solid changed into the liquid liquid changed into the water vapor okay gases also changes to that liquid liquid also changes to the solid form so that means uh, solid changes to the liquid liquid changes to that uh, gases okay so these are the changing also we can see in that uh, water so actually in that land 3 by 4 of the land is present occupied in the water only so 97 in this land 97 percentage of the water is present in the ocean this is a uh, available into that uh, okay oceans uh, this is nothing but salt water salt water there is no use of that salt water and remaining two percentage is present uh, in the glacier form in the form of ice this is the arctic and antarctic region we can see in that ice form this is also not useful to that uh, last one last one the fresh water is present in the only one percentage this fresh water is present in the rivers lakes ponds wells and springs this fresh water is the very little and little so that's why we can conserve the water we can conserve the water next so uses of the water so the main use uh, water also known as the universal solvent water also also known as the universal solvent why it is called universal solvent because this water is dis all the things are dissolved in the water so that's why water is called universal solvent water is called universal solvent next uh, especially if you see that organism any organism like plant like animal we can see that any organism 
75% of that organism occupied to that especially in the water especially in the water for example human body in that human body body 75% is occupied by the water in the plant also you know very well occupied by the water okay water also known as the okay water is uh, there is no life water is a life okay already previous slogan soil is uh, soil is life there is no soil there is no plants and animals there is no water there is no life okay so that means uh, water also essential thing there is no water there is no life so in that plants and animals 75 percentage of that body is uh, made up of water only and uh, last uh, so metabolic activities metabolic activities like digestion respiration circulation excretion these are all the metabolic activities occurs in that uh, in the presence of that water only okay so these are the metabolic activities there is no water there is no metabolic activity there is no water there is no metabolic activity okay so for example photosynthesis mechanism in the plant photosynthesis mechanism is the important life process because there is no photosynthesis mechanism there is no food for us there is no food for us in that photosynthesis mechanism requirement is the carbon dioxide is essential water is essential sunlight is essential and chlorophyll is essential there is no water and uh, very 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 important thing is the uh, this carbon dioxide is converted into the glucose okay this water hydrolysis mechanism is occurred through that water that water molecule they can split into h plus oh minus ion then these are the oxygen is released from that water molecule only there is no photosynthesis mechanism there is no oxygen gas yes or no yes next so this is a small example so another example in the respiration we are eating to that uh, different different types of the nutrient in that nutrient actually we are taking to the carbohydrate protein fats vitamins like so in the presence of oxygen this glucose molecule is oxidized they are releasing to the carbon dioxide and water okay you know very well if you are opposite of the sunlight you can breathe out what happened sometimes after your image we can't see why we can't see because of water vapor is formed that water vapor is uh, formed because of the respiration that water uh, also released in the respiration respiration water also released okay so this is about that next so body temperature especially in that human being human being okay especially that uh, temperature also adjusted by the water okay if you are drink uh, if you are drink uh, more water more water body temperature is adjusted and uh, at the same time what are the waste materials are generated that waste materials are generated send outside through the near the excretory system through the water only okay so body temperature is maintaining and metabolic activities are under control and through the water only there is no water there is no life there is no there is no there is no water there is no plant there is no water there is no animal so that's why water provide to the life water is provide to the life there is no water there is no life there is no life okay so now so here actually every year we can celebrate it march 22 we can celebrate world water day world water day every year we can celebrate it to the march 22 is the we can celebrate it to the world water day 
So according to that WHO, World Health Organization, so we can uh, declare this date is the March 22 is the World Water Day. World Water Day. So now coming to the point already, so water is the three states that is the ice, solid and liquid. Ice is the solid state and uh, drinking water is the liquid state and uh, gases is the, especially in that uh, water vapor is the gaseous state. So next, uh, occurrence of the water in the combined state. Actually, if you see that, uh, especially in the plants and animals already discussed 75 percentage of the body of the organism made up of especially water, okay. So, these are the natural resources of the water, there are the two natural resources of the water, one is the underground water and second one is the surface water, okay. Underground water, underground water and second one is the surface water, surface water. So, underground water especially you know very well that uh, the majority of the pure water is nothing but rain, okay. Rain water is the actually that uh, rain water is the pure water, rain water is the pure water, okay. Now, so you know very well, well water and spring water, okay, these are the examples of that underground water, well water and spring water. Surface water, especially rain water and lake water, sea water, these are all the examples of that, okay, surface water, surface water, okay. So, these are the important point is the, okay, water is the most essential for a plants and animals and water occurs in the solid, liquid as well as gaseous state mostly being in the liquid state. In the solid state large amount of the fresh water is found in the form of ice or snow. In the liquid state most of the water is present in the ocean. Dew is also liquid state of the water. In the gaseous state mostly occur in the water vapor uh, especially or fog or mist. In the combined state, water is an important constant of all the living matter. Naturally occur water in the classified into, especially for that uh, rain water, okay, well water, okay, next uh, river water and sea water, rain water. Rain water is the freest form of the water, whereas sea water is the impurest form of the water. Now, water cycle. So, how that uh, water cycle, uh, if you are seeing that uh, water cycle, if you are seeing that water cycle, generally in our surroundings, water is present in the, okay, rivers, lakes, okay, ponds, especially in that oceans, this water is present in the land, okay. So, when the sunlight is fall out on that uh, rivers, oceans and uh, okay, that uh, water changed into the form of water vapor, that joined into the atmosphere, that is the joined into the atmosphere, that water vapor again, when that water vapor is cooled out, that is joined into the cloud, that is formed into the cloud. When that water vapor, that clouds, when it is cool, that is formed into the rain in the land. So, this water cycle also known as the hydrological cycle, hydrological cycle. So, that means generally, uh, generally if you are uh, preparing to the rice, preparing to the rice, when you are taking to the bowl, if you are poured to the water, that water vapor changes into the water, changes into the water vapor. Again, if it is cooling, that water vapor changes into the water. Okay. When it is changed into that again cooling, that is changed into the form of ice. At the same manner, so, so actually ice changed into the water. Okay. Water changed into the water vapor, water vapor. 
So water change into the water vapor is called evaporation. Water vapor change into that water is called condensation. Evaporation, evaporation, and second one is the condensation. Condensation. So this evaporation and the condensation is the continue in the process. Okay. In that water cycle, hydrological cycle, okay, this evaporation and condensation is occurs in that continuously. Okay, water is changed into the water vapor. That water vapor again changed into the water. So that's why these are the continue to that uh, evaporation and condensation. So that's why water is formed. So this is the water cycle. Water cycle uh, generally every day we can see in that when that uh, rain has coming. Rain has coming. Uh, generally we can see that uh, okay this water vapor changed into the water and uh, water vapor changed. Uh, water is changed into the water vapor and uh, so water vapor water into the changed into the water vapor that is called. Water changed into the water vapor. Water vapor. This is called what? Evaporation. Evaporation. Okay. Water vapor. Water vapor. Okay. Water vapor is changed into the water. Is called condensation. Condensation. This water, this evaporation and condensation is a continuation process occurred in that water cycle. Water cycle. So this is a continuation process. Then, so that's why, so these are the, what are the land, rivers, oceans and seas and this water changed into the water vapor, again changed into the cloud. When it is cooled, that is again in the form of rain water. Okay. So that's why that is known as the condensation. The purest water is the rain water. The rain water, there is no color, there is no shape, there is no, uh, there is no color. Okay. And there is no taste. Okay. There is no shape. Okay. Purest water is nothing but rain water is the purest water. So that is, there is no color, there is no taste. Okay. There is no shape. Okay. So, purest water is nothing but rain water. Rain water. In this rain water, most of the impurities are joined. Most of the impurities are joined. So, that's why that rain water is a, when it has coming, that is polluted. That is joined into the air. That is joined into that, uh, especially that water, the polluted joined into the rain water. So that's uh, if you are taking and uh, if you are drinking, uh, it is also not good. So that's why nowadays most of the diseases we are getting from the water only. Okay, every day compulsory you can must and should boil the water and cool it and you can drink it. And uh, next point is what is the boiling point of the water? Boiling point of the water means water changed into the water vapor. Water changed into the water vapor is called okay evaporation. Uh, which degree centigrade uh, that water is changed into the water vapor? 100 degree centigrade. 100 degree centigrade is known as the boiling point of the water. Boiling point of the water. Okay. Boiling point of the water. What is the okay? What is the melting point of the water? That water vapor changed into the ice. That is called melting point. Zero degree centigrade is the melting point of the water. Melting point of the water. Point of the water. These are the points also you can keep in your mind. 100 degree centigrade is the boiling point of the water and 0 degree centigrade is the okay melting point of the water. Water is a universal solvent. Water is a universal solvent. Water maintained to the temperature of the organism. 
and water also okay water is present in the three states solid liquid and gases so world water day we can celebrate every year march 22 okay this is uh, about that water okay thank you have a great day.